Hello and welcome to Cracking the Cryptic. So, back to Sudoku today. And um, this puzzle came from last weekend's Sudoku Grand Prix Round 1. Now, the um, puzzle um, organization, I can't remember what the world, the world Puzzle Association, I think it's called, runs both a Puzzle Grand Prix and a Sudoku Grand Prix for the first six months of the year. So once a month, there's a release document over a weekend. You get 90 minutes to solve it when you choose. And this is quite a good introduction, as well as a few classic Sudokus. There are a number of variant Sudokus, and it's a good introduction to those. Um, and as has been the case in some previous goes, round one had quite a lot of the standard variants, the variants that Sudoku solvers see quite regularly. Um, and one of these is called Renban Sudoku. I think Renban must be a Japanese word or words. And as you can see from the rules here, digits placed in each shaded region must form a consecutive non-repeating set. So, for instance, these the, this L-shaped shaded region here could, for instance, contain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But they'd have to be clearly disposed so the 6 wasn't in those three cells, or it would conflict with that six. So the normal Sudoku rules apply, and also those. Now, this was worth 41 points. The speed I was going at was worth about five points a minute. So if I could have done this one in eight minutes, that would have been fine. I do encourage you to note it down and try it for yourself. It's, a, it's an interesting puzzle. And uh, do pause the video, but I'm now going to show a possible solution path to it. So I've copied it into Excel, and it's here. And the important thing with these REN bands is you get quite a lot of help from the shaded areas that are within one box. So down here, for instance, 3, 6, and 4 are already in the box, and these three, sorry, those three cells in the grey area have to be consecutive. So they can't be 1, 2, 3. They can't involve four or six. They clearly have to be seven, eight, and nine. That has to be the eight because of this eight. And those two have to be seven and nine in some order. So that's a decent start there. Now, the other thing, so on a similar, similar note, this box here has already got a four and a seven in it. So seven, eight, nine is ruled out, seven, six, five, anything with a four. The only possibilities again are one, two, three. And um, so one, two, three must go in there in some order. Now, the other thing that's really helpful to notice here is this shaded area up here. Now, although at first it doesn't look like that's all that helpful, if you had a six in it and that's possible, the six would have to be up here. But because of where this three is poised, it, this this block can't have a three in it because the three couldn't go in any of those three cells because of the row and it couldn't go in any of those three cells because of the box. So there's no three in it. That means it's either four, five, six, seven, eight, or five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, both of those have a six and an eight in it. We've got a six and an eight in this row already. Six and an eight clearly have to go up here. Now, these are three could be either um, four, five, seven, or five, seven, nine. So that's not all that helpful. But then we take that over here. We must have one and two now in these three cells. And if one and two is in this cross-shaped Renban area, then nine can't be in it because it must be made up of one, two, three, four, five. So the nine is over here. These are five, seven, and nine in some order. So there we are. And they're five, seven, nine. Now these ones are four, one, and two, and then the order is fixed by this four here and this one here. So they must go with three and five in some order, and those must be in those cells there. Now that's helped with this shape here. These must be four, six, seven. That has got seven and six in the same row. So they're four, six, seven. One of these is five, 
And that's quite useful to know because now this can't be 5. And the other one now can't be 3, which would make up 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, because 3 is in the box already. So it must be 8. So they must, in fact, be in that order because of that 8 there. And I mean, this is, you know, incredibly quick progress. Now, 8 in this box, we've got 8 there and 8 there and 8 in that column. 8 must be there. Now, that's already quite interesting. This grey area must have numbers between 3 and 7. Must be 3, 4, 5, 6 or 4, 5, 6, 7. Um, I'm not sure in which order yet, but that's going to be useful, I'm sure, in a moment. Um, and, ah, oh, we didn't even look at this set here. This could be, at first glance, this could be either 1, 2, 3 or 5, 6, 7, because that would go with this 4 and 8 in the box. But in fact, 6 is ruled out from both of the columns involved. So this set must be um, 1, 2, 3. And given that that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 8 there, um, this 6 could be here or here. Let's put it in red. Not sure which one it is. That, in fact, can't be 3. It must be 1 or 2. Um, and I mean, already, you know, we've made probably enough progress to really crack this wide open at any point. Um, 2 and 4 in this box here must be 2 and 4 are in that column and in this row. So they must go in here. Um, that can't be a 2 anymore. 4, 2, 1, 8. And in fact, 4 is now fixed in that box. That's the only place it could possibly go. Um, 9 must be up there. That puts a 9. Oh no, either there or there. Um, 7, 4, 1, 2, 3. Eight up there. Ah, oh, an eight is not in this column, so it's there. Um, eight and four, one, two, three. That's not six. Ah, oh, in fact, nine is ruled out of that. Those two cells, so that must go there. So these are five and six in some order. Um, eight, four, nine, three. So we've got. Those can't be two, so two must be one of those. So this one can't be two, it must be a one. Um, one must be in that column, therefore it must be there. We know it's not in the box because two is not in the uh, shaded area, so one must be there. That can't be one, it must be a three. Um, one, two, four, five, eight. Four. So nine must be there, must be in one of those because it can't be in the shaded area again. So that puts nine there. This one isn't a nine, although we don't quite know which one it is yet. Um, one, two, eight, four, four, nine, three, eight, six. Sorry, you're probably seeing things quicker than me at this point, and that's perfectly valid. Um, as I say, you know, the, I think the logic that we've employed so far has very much broken the back of this puzzle. Three is the only possibility there, and that makes this one two, um, three. Um, three, eight, five, six, two, four, seven, nine. There's a one here. One of those is a one, but I don't know which one. One, three, eight, four. Seven and six are both up there. Um, yeah, nine was going to be here, but also the other one that must be here is either three or seven, and it can't be seven. So this box is, because of that seven, the seven must be in this shaded area. So that must be seven, six, five, four. So that gives us nine and three here. 
And with that, I think we're done there. Those can't be six because they're over there. Um, so they must be one, five. That can't be five anymore. So there's two up here. These are seven and six in some order. This one is five. Um, this one can't be six anymore because we now have six and seven already in there. It has to be nine. This is the six. And we've got five, seven. Let's fix the seven, nine down here. just simple elimination from here on in. So I will finish it off. Um, those are five, nine, because of the nine down here. Five, six, seven, eight, four, we've got three, seven up there, and one, two down there. That's five. This is five, nine to finish that row. We've got two there, and either six or seven there, still not sure. Um, eight one to finish the column, and that finally resolves the eight six pair. Um, three six seven to go. In this row, we need a seven and nine, and that gives us a three and six up there. We've got a seven and three seven. That seven fixes this six seven, and that fixes this six. So there we go, that's the solution to the puzzle. And I mean, it didn't take very long once you spotted, first of all, the useful logic about um, shaded areas confined to boxes like this three, two, one, which is a fairly standard thing, but also that three and how it acted on this gray area up here was very useful. After that, and combined with this cross area here, it all fell apart very quickly and uh, it's a nice puzzle I should probably have taken it on in the in the time I had but uh, as I say if you don't spot those quickly it could take 10 minutes or more um, and an enjoyable foray into Renban Sudoku so thank you very much for watching and hope to see you again on Cracking the Cryptic soon bye